Hey, good evening, YouTube family. This is Get Out of the Boat Kev. I, uh, <laughs> my fire lit room, living room here. I got a, I just got off of YouTube. I, uh, just friended a, uh, a gal that I'm sub to on Facebook, or I mean on YouTube. And, uh, I ran across her on Facebook somehow. Can't even remember how the heck that happened, other than it was probably ordained of the Lord. <laughs> Anyhow, she'd been quiet for a while. She hasn't uploaded for a long time. That's how I found her, actually. She actually uploaded a video Say, hey, guess what? I'm back. Anyhow, her name is Connie Key 11. Connie Key 11. And, uh, I'm gonna favorite and like that video that she put up. Uh, the title of the video is <clears throat> Are We Ready? Are we ready? And uh, I tell you what, it was a timely and anointed word, preached with authority and power. And uh, I tell you what, <laughs> spoke loud and clear to me. But I had to. I I, uh, I like to respond in the comments, and I usually like you know the, pray that the Lord and the Holy Spirit let me do a passage of scripture after uh, reading that, or I mean viewing that video, and uh, it was. Uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and uh, examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith prove your own selves that's 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5 and uh, I guess I could read the rest of it too finish it out know ye not your own selves how that Jesus Christ is in you Except you be reprobates. Except you be a reprobate. <laughs> Don't want to be one of them. Anyhow, God bless you. No, uh, she talked about, you know, Facebook and you know what, and all the little you know, you know, drama and all that stupidity and foolishness and nonsense. And, uh, wow, you know what, I'm a, I, I never, I didn't, I resisted Facebook about as, you know, as much as I resisted just even getting computers and getting on the internet. But, uh, you know, I'm there, and uh, it's only a means. My main focus with Facebook is to, you know, get the Word of God out, and the Gospel of Jesus Christ out there, you know. Pretty much, uh, I don't get much attention on my, my Facebook wall. People come and see what I've got up there. <laughs> it's all about Jesus, and you know what? I don't get many likes or comments or anything on videos that I slap up on there. You know, pretty much people just come and, woo, get out, and they run like cockroaches when the light's on them. <laughs> you know? Uh, but she was talking about, you know, a lot of this little superficial nonsense, all these thin-skinned people, you know, unfriending each other over the stupidest little uh, misunderstandings and, you know, if they don't agree about the political views and whatever. Get over it, people. You know what? It's about time where the rubber is going to hit the road. She talks about persecution. You know what? It's coming. It's happening. If you can't sense it, if you cannot discern the signs of the times, but you can discern, you know, uh, your sporting events, and you know who's got the best quarterback, who's injured, who's starting, who's, you know, on the disabled list, and, you know, all this other meaningless, yeah, but you can't discern the signs of the times. Come on, and she talks about this stuff, and she, uh, she lays it out there, and she doesn't mince her words. You know what? I love the woman, and uh, like I say, I hope uh, you, you look her up. Connie Keys 11. Are we ready? Well, you know what? It's time to uh, prove yourselves, examine yourselves. It all goes along with working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. It all goes about goes along with uh, taking responsibility for your salvation, taking responsibility for your soul. Bowing your soul down before the Lord your God, for He is worthy and He is, <laughs> He's going to judge us. He's going to judge us soon. And uh, that judgment's going to be based upon what we've done with our life. What did we do with Jesus the Christ of Nazareth? Yeshua HaMashiach, our Messiah, our Lord, our King. You know, that's what it's all coming down to, folks. You know, it's time to stop playing church, practicing churchianity. It's time to stop, you know, you know, professing to be one thing and then, you know, 
out of the other side of your face, you know, talking a whole different talk and living a whole different life. And uh, you know what? I'm guilty of all these things. I'm guilty of falling far short of the glory of God in all these areas. And I confess that before you <laughs> and God Almighty. And He knows my heart. He knows my heart. He knows that I want to. I got a want to and willingness. But he also knows. <laughs> he also knows I got strongholds and little little pockets of resistance still attached to my soul that I haven't worked up and out of me yet. And I ask and pray that He would, you know, enable me and empower me by His Spirit to do so, because the time is running out. Time is running short. You know what? We survived 2012. You know, December 21st came and went, and we're still here. Yeeha! You know, did anybody think it wouldn't? We wouldn't survive that. But I tell you what, you look back and reflect on that year, all the uh, the massacres, the crazy gun lone gunmen or one or two gunmen, and then two or three of them disappear, and it's just the one guy left remaining, and there ain't no man hunt for the other ones. And uh, it's just craziness going on, folks. Total insanity running amok. And naked men running wild with swords and chewing people's faces off. Cannibals. The, the, the lid to the pit is being opened. I don't know if it's flat blown open already or what, but demonic activity is on the increase. If you cannot discern it for what it truly is, you are blind and you need the scales to fall from your eyes. And you need to be <laughs> walking in His Spirit 24-7, 365, filling up your cup, filling up your cup. Because if you're not getting full of the Holy Spirit, if you ain't full of Him, and He ain't filling you up daily, and you ain't coming to the cross of Christ every day and reporting for duty as a good soldier, then uh, I'll tell you what, the persecution that's coming, I don't know. I can't speak for any of you. I'm just hoping that I'll be able to stand, that I will stand fast when it comes to that time. If, you know what, somebody comes to me and says, hey man, the RFID chips are coming. <laughs> you know, the fist, we just plunged off the fiscal cliff. These Federal Reserve notes are no longer going to be honored. It's time to take the chip. Serious stuff, folks. Serious business. I don't say it's, I don't know when, if, it's coming, what it's going to look like, the mark of the beast, whatever. But I know all these things are <laughs> spoken of in the book of Revelation. And uh, cashless society, I tell you what, it's real. It's real stuff that we all need to be considering this year. You know, it just gets worse and worse. It ain't going to get any better. This planet is falling apart. <laughs> Everything that can be shaken is being shaken. Yea and amen. And uh, as for me, I'm being shaken. <laughs> yes sir, Bob, I am being shaken. And I thank my God that he's counting me worthy to endure the trials that I've been going through with my work and things and you know just being delivered out of one, my last hot work environment to another. Well, still on the honeymoon a little bit. Loving it, but uh, there are some issues. <laughs> there are some things. There's some stuff. There's some demonic forces at work down there, too. Tell you what, there's demonic forces at work everywhere. And uh, I tell you what, we need to be girded up. We need to be girded up, and we need to be putting on the whole armor of God from, you know, the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, feet shy with the preparation of the gospel of peace, belt of truth, sword of the spirit, all of it. We need it all going on. 24-7, 365, especially before you walk out into this world. Because I tell you what, your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion. And he has assigned demonic forces to thwart your every effort to glorify God. And I uh, tell you what, man, the battle belongs to the Lord. <laughs> the battle belongs to the Lord. Some may trust in horses, some may trust in chariots, but I will trust in the name of my God. And uh, you know what? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. It's time that we learn that. It's time that we appropriate that. It's time that we walk that out in real, genuine faith. Well, that's about all I got. I don't want to run this one over. I'm kind of feeling like the anointing is on me to speak this word. And I just pray that you'd have uh, ears to hear it. Discerning spiritual ears to hear and receive. And uh, I love you. This is Get Out of the Boat Cub.